Malaysia, there is a lot of heritage buildings. Therefore, we need to conserve them. As quantity surveying students, I intend to investigate quantity surveying practices in the area of heritage building conservation through 3D laser scanning utilization. I am excited to share with all of you about my research, so let's look at the details. The listing of Malacca and Penang as UNESCO World Heritage Site has imposed additional attention and demand for conservation work. As such, quantity surveyors are also highly demanded in building conservation works. However, building conservation is a totally different approach from constructions of new buildings. In Malaysia, heritage building conservation works generally follow traditional procure method by the use of build quantities. An accurate cost estimation is extremely important. Therefore, adequate and accurate as build design drawing and specification is very important for the quantity surveyor. In Malaysia, there are approximately 39,000 heritage buildings, which as follows. Cost estimating for heritage building is not a simple task as it requires as build drawing. However, as build drawings are sometimes updated or unavailable for heritage buildings. Even if there is a build drawing for the heritage building, it might be not accurate or cannot represent the current condition of the building. Therefore, there is a need to reproduce as build drawing through a process called remeasurement. However, remeasurement process is really that simple as it is laborious, time consuming, and error prone. Also, there might be issues associated to health and safety, accessibility, and we need to be careful for any alteration done to the history fabric. In conjunction to this issue, heritage building information modeling technology with the utilization of 3D laser scanner has been introduced to replace the conventional approach. Based on extensive literature review, I found that heritage buildings lack of X build information and is carried out in often carried out in full science setting. It is different from new building works and reproduction or aspute drawing is time consuming, laborious and error prone and also associated to other issues. To achieve the end of my study, I will adopt single case study method. As such, I will collect the data, process the data, create a spill bin and lastly to perform automatic quantity takeoff. And the selected case study will be a 150 years old building as shown. In conclusion, quantity surveying practices can be expanded in hash bin platform and hash bin can be applied on other heritage buildings or on other existing buildings as well as the principle can be used for AR and VR.